But, um, of course, uh, you know, Elegant Homes helping us bring you uh, this show, the AM uh, show. And we're going to be connecting uh, with Kweku Asante, who is still um, out there. But the last edition of News File for the year 2020 will be coming uh, your way on Saturday, the 26th of December. So that's right after Christmas. And we draw the curtains on News File for the year. The show this time starts at 8 a.m. rather than the usual 9 o'clock and ends at 1 p.m. on the dot. Do make a date. Yep, do make a date. So we're bringing you more uh, right here on uh, the AM show. Let's go now to the Obras Sport, where there's a supposed peace walk, peace walk, to ask, uh, you know, the NDC to accept the results of the 2020 elections and uh, we connect uh, there now to undertake what has been dubbed as the ghana peace walk and of course what this peace work is about is to impress upon the national democratic congress the ndc and its flag bearer john dramani mahama to accept the results of the 2020 elections if you come around you can see a lot of inscription that have been written on cardboards and about other things Ghana first, let peace prevail. Ghana first, let peace prevail. So let me speak to some of these protesters first and get a sense of what exactly their reasoning behind this protest are and also get to see. So let me, let me, let me come to some of them. Okay. So, hello, good morning. So what is this protest about? Why are you here this morning to protest? Oh, we are here for peace. We just want peace to prevail in our country and that's what we want to do. We want everyone in Ghana to know that we are all one people and we need peace. Because without peace there is nothing that we can do. But peace in our country. But currently there is peace. Is, it, is there no peace? No, we don't think there is peace. And who do you think is contributing to the no peace? No, we are just doing the protests. Wherever that the violence and any other thing is coming from, we just want peace in the country. So we are just doing this to reach out to whoever who is behind all of this whole thing, just to make peace to prevail. That's why we are all here. Right, so what is your name? I'm Jennifer. Jennifer where you come from? I'm from Kumasi, but I work over here. Oh yes, God. please. So let me speak to this lady here who's also joined the protest. Please, what's your name? I'm Ejewa. Ejewa. Do you join the yes, please. Okay, so the here tells me that this protest is for peace. You said Ghana first, let peace prevail. Ghana has decided, respect it. People have the right to protest against the election results. My brother, we are all in this country and then we saw all the media houses, the outcome of the results. So uh, what we want to tell our brothers in the other side and sisters in the other side is that they should just respect the verdict of the electoral commission and then we can move on as one country, as one Ghana. Then right, right. So a lot of cardboards here, a lot of these inscriptions that, that have been, Ghana has decided, respected. Elections 2020 was peaceful. Ghana first. And now other inscriptions here, trying to urge supporters of the National Democratic Congress and its flag bearer, John Domani Mahama, to accept the outcome of the election. Of course, listeners and viewers may recall that on the 9th of December, when the Electoral Commissioner, Madame Jill Benson, declared President Ekufuadu as winner, former President John Domani Mahama, who was the presidential candidate of the NDC, held a news conference at the headquarters of the NDC and said that the result of the election was fictitious and the whole process was flawed. For that reason, he was unwilling or was unwilling to accept the result of the election that declared incumbent president Ekufuado as the president-elect. And they have since that mounted a series of protests nationwide, protesting the outcome of this election. But of course, democracy is very beautiful. So there are people here protesting the NDC's right to protest. That's what makes it beautiful. Let me speak to more of the people and get a sense of what exactly is going on here. But of course, I've seen a number of police vehicles here at the Obrasport Kwame Nkrumah Circle. The demonstration is yet, to, is, is yet to start. It's not a demonstration. It's actually a walk. It is yet to start. But let me speak to some of the protesters and get an idea what brought them here to come and protest. Hello, boss. Yeah, so please, what are you, what, what made you join this work, madam? Let me, Madam, then I'm out joining the work here. Okay, let me speak to some other people. Hello. Can I speak to you? Can we speak to you and join? Right, right. Let me speak to this. Let me speak to this lady. Hello, madam. But so, then I do, ma. Oh, they're bad. They're bad. They're so I went to you. 
Yeah, but for peace work, in India, in India, that they are bad. I say. Some of the say, some of them will peace work hard now. There will be peace in India, say. Oh, now we have the cost one now. The cost one, in India, it's not peace. So, a lot of inscriptions. Some of them we cannot show you on camera for obvious reasons. But some of these people shouting, "We want peace," trying to make a point to say that they 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 want the NDC and its leader to accept the outcome of the 2020 elections. Hello, madam, can we speak to you on join us, please? All right, some of these protesters are shying away from the cameras. But the antecedent of this story is very clear. The NDC and its presidential candidate, John Dramani Mahama, making it clear that they are not accepting the outcome of this election. We are yet to see if they will head to court. And yesterday we brought you a story that showed that the NDC, as of right now, has only six days per the constitutional dictate to be able to head to the court and challenge the outcome of the results. We do not have an indication yet if they'll be doing so. The NDC, like I said earlier, have also been holding a series of street protests. Last two days we had, or we saw the minority caucus in parliament led by their leader, Harun Idris, who marched to the Electoral Commission to deliver a petition on the 13th and South election, which has, which has become a source of dispute. And so more and more people are coming in. I've seen some vehicles coming to drop more of these protesters. We are here to see when this protest will start and how this protest will pan out. But so far, peace, peaceful people around showing their inscriptions and trying to let the people know that they want peace in their country and they want, uh, they want, they want the, the, the verdict of the people, as they put it, decided. Hello, can I speak to any of you, please? Can I speak to you any? We are live on TV. We are live on TV, can we speak to any of you? So, what brought you here today? You met your material for you now, and I no pay. The entire shame we have seen. The pagan peace, and then I hear you now. The shame we have no pay. And you may be a cause, so you to abandon you and and you may gana because you know you go my name. Seba kidi se se ya you ni baby ya be fa. Gana ni ya kura ya wom. And the yeah the no pay. The shame we have peace, and then the shame we have say. Yes, re. Yes, ran this for say a strong woman, a piece in my own mind. Now, you know, yeah, yeah, or my back. So, almost one more door, man, a part, yeah, and a yes, strong money, a smooth, yeah, any piece, a woman, because yeah, I'm on my and one more face, and one more, yeah, I'm on my own, I'm on my own, yeah, I'm on my own, and I'm on my own, and fat up, I'm on my own, yeah, I'm back home, now, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Yen na yen timi mu o manu na enko na nim enu nti na ena no pe ya be hie mu o ha se ye po mo chew omo ma peace mra o man nim omo ma asumdue mra o man nim ye di nyankopon di sra wo mo de e koso no o man ne ye mpe eti so omo so omo do o man ne de a ene ye sra omo ne asumdue ye sra omo ne asumdue ye damase what you from saying ye from stella boama right so stella has spoken quite a length making the point over and over again that the National Democratic Congress and its leader must respect the verdict of the people. That is, what, that is how they put it. And you can see a lot of the T-shirts that they are wearing. They have said that we have voted, respect our decision. And so the, the street protest, uh, this, this work is going to take part of a crowd. I'm here to see some of the organizers around to talk to them and see and have an idea how they are going to go about all this so far. But like I told you, there's a police vehicle right in front of me. I've seen another police vehicle just ahead of us trying to protect these people and trying to safeguard them. Of course, when I get uh, Mr. Ofori, one of the police leaders, I'm going, I'm going to put this question to them. And yesterday, we had an idea that the Ghana Police Service has secured an injunction against the National Democratic Congress for embarking on walks, protests, demonstrations, anything of the sort for 20 days. And so you probably want to know under what basis are these people also protesting or holding this work? And so these are questions when I get uh, the, the police hierarchy who will be here, I'll put some of them to them. I'll put some of these questions to them. But the protesters are, are, are here in their numbers and we need to speak to more of these protesters and get an inkling of what, 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 what they want to be doing. Hello. Pacho, we are live on Join News. Join News. Yes. So, Musi Moshia, Michelle Plaka, they all say Ghana is our only home, NDC. And is it for my day? Lea Patra and Sagana, you hear peace, our Ghana. 
And I said, 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 I I I no more, or or more, yeah, press conference, or more, yes, or more, yes, and a high end, you know. If I'm Jemima, Jemima, so Jemima, Jemima, so this person says he's from the Ghana Freedom Party, right? Yeah, and so you are joining this pro 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 protest together with your party, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what is leading you to come and join this? Ah, uh, good morning, good morning. Actually, we went to the pools, and by and large, we believe that. One person will win. So after the pools, we have accepted the verdict. So we are also expecting former President John Dramani Mahama to accept the verdict. The people voted and voted massively for the MPP. And the EC has already declared the election. So we don't know. In fact, we, we don't see the reason why they are going around doing all sorts of um, unaccepted and unlawful behavior. Please. We have only one Ghana, and for me, being my 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 flag, my flag bearer being a Piadonko, we 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 are coming out, and in fact, we are joining this campaign. We are joining this campaign for peace, and we expect President John Dramani Mahama and the NDC to also accept the verdict. Thank you. So, do you, do you expect that, Madam Piadonko? Sure, I'm expecting Madame Ikiadonko because about thousands of our supporters are here. About thousands of our supporters are here. So, so far as the supporters are here, we also we, we also be expecting Madame Ikiadonko. And even without her presence, I think we are far enough to hit the streets. So this protest is being led by a coalition of some of the political parties that contested in the 2020 general elections. And you just hear this guy says he's a supporter of the Ghana Union Movement led by Madame Ekwiadonko. You can see the, uh, I can just see that the GCPP vehicle is also around. And GCPP is part of the coalition of political parties who, who, are, who, are, who are protesting. And so we'll be following these protesters to have an idea where they'll be going and what they'll be doing across the, across, across Accra today as they are marching and calling on the NDC to accept the verdict of the 2020 election. And so, coming to you live from the brass body, the supporters thronging here in their numbers and ready to go on the streets of Accra and march. Benjamin. Dave, thank you very much. Awesome work you're doing out there. Stay safe as well. Don't you forget, the AM Show is brought to you by Elegant Homes. Christmas is practically just around the corner. Let's get in the, in the mood, shall we?